Hi, I'm Miss Jan, and here's my friend Robert. Hi, everybody. We're so glad to be here. Hi, Miss Amy. Hi. We're super excited to be sharing a show with everybody today. And Robert, I'm so glad that you could join us again. Well, I couldn't miss it. Well, Robert, you know, we have some songs that we want to start with today, and we've got one that we want you to help with. And boys and girls, we want you to help with this song too. And this is one that we've sung before. Are you ready for Hallelujah? I think so. Okay. So remember now, on the Hallelujah part, you're going to sit down. And on Praise Ye the Lord, you're going to stand up. Okay? Do you think I could climb down from on top of the cupboards here? Uh, just be really careful, okay, Robert? Okay. All right, so here we go. Oh, we got to start by sitting. I am sitting. Oh, good. Here we go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, that was awesome. Great job, Robert. Thanks for helping us with that one. Now, I have a new song today, and for this one, you're going to need some clapping hands. Everybody got your clapping hands today? Okay, and so uh, this one is called Cast Your Burdens, because we all have burdens and things that are really hard for us to carry and we want to cast our burdens on Jesus because he's going to help us with our burdens with our problems with things that are difficult here's how it goes cast your burdens unto Jesus for he cares for you cast your burdens unto Jesus for he cares for you Higher, 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 lift Jesus higher, 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 lift Jesus higher, cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you, cast your burdens unto Jesus. For you, lower, 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 push Satan lower, 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 push Satan lower, cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you, cast your burdens unto Jesus. For he cares for you. Oh, guys, thanks for helping me out with that song. I hope you had your clapping hands going with me on that. Now, there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about casting, casting your burdens onto Jesus. And here's what it says. It is from Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. And it says, cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. And so a burden is just a problem or anything that you're struggling with. And so if we cast those or give those to Jesus, then he's going to help us and he's going to sustain us and he's going to make it easier for us just giving it to him. And it says he'll never allow the righteous to be shaken. What's righteous mean? Well, somebody who's righteous is someone who's trying to do what is right. And so Jesus is going to be helping us. We just need to give him our problems and give him our worries. And he's right there with us. 
a lot of burdens, Miss Amy. You oh, you do? I want to talk to you about them. Oh, sure, you can. Because, you know, sometimes when you share your problems and your burdens with other people, it, it helps you to deal with them more easily. Okay. Now, I do have a friend here that you might know. Well, let me come out and I'll come around in front of the stage and Miss Jan's having to help me carry my burdens. They're so heavy. Here I am right here. I'm gonna lay my burdens down right now. Whew. Well, who are you? Hi, everyone. My name is Blossom. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, and what's your name? My name is Ted. Some people think I'm a rat. Do you think I'm a rat? Ah, uh, Ted, I think you're the same as me. I Do you know what I am? Yeah, you're a possum and I am too. That's right. I'm Blossom Possum. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. I'm, I am carrying around. I put all my burdens in this big bag. I thought it might be easier to carry. Is it okay if Miss Jan helps me get one out and we'll look at it? Sure. Okay. You'll just see your hand. All right. I wrote them all down. I helped too, Ted. All right, let's open your bag. Yeah, what's in that bag? Well, let's see, we'll read it. Oh, here's our first burden. Right now, Ted, you're saying, I can't go places. I can't go to McDonald's. I can't go anywhere. I can't go to Purple Cow. I just have to stay home and play in the yard. Oh, I have that burden too, Ted. My parents won't let me go anywhere. How come? Well, we're supposed to be in quarantine. Oh, what's that? Well, that means you can't go anywhere and you have to stay away from everybody else, except for your family. My mom says if I don't stay away from people, I'm gonna make them sick, but I don't know how. Well, uh, there's this virus going around right now, Ted, and a lot of people are really scared because of it. And so that's why we have to stay home so much and we can't go to the park, we can't go to McDonald's, we can't go to, oh, really anywhere. And we can't go to church either, can we? No, not right now. Okay, well, then, oh, oh my goodness, that's a burden. I fell. Oh, oh be careful, Ted. Well, let's see the next, the next thing. Um, here comes Miss Jan. She's going to help me. All right. Yeah, what else is in that bag? With another burden. I like that. Wow, that must be really heavy. It is. It's called social distancing. Is that what we were talking about? Oh, you mean that's one of your burdens too? Yeah, I can't go near my grandparents or anybody. Oh dear, what, what social distancing, Ted? I think it means I have to stay away from people because they think I might make them sick. So that's a burden. I just, I can't even see my grandmother. Oh, so like you can't socialize. That means you can't like go around and hug them and touch them and stuff like that, right? That you know, makes me feel sad, but I guess if I keep everybody safe, that's what I should do. Okay, Miss yeah, Miss Jan has another burden. Another one? Yeah, I'm staying home all the time with my my brothers and sisters, and sometimes we're fighting. Fighting? Oh no, Ted! That's not good. You shouldn't be fighting with your brothers and sisters. Why are you doing that, Ted? They're annoying and irritating to me. Oh, well, what can you do about that one, Ted? Well, maybe when they get real annoying and irritating, I should, I should remember to say a little prayer and just walk away. 
and just say, I can't play with you right now. I just need to calm down over here. Well, I think that's a really good idea, Ted. Very smart. You know, somebody told me once that uh, if I get really angry, I should do this. I should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Well, let's see. I'll, I'll practice. Maybe everybody can do it with us. Let's get real angry. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Not for real, but just pretending. Okay, now we're going to count. Ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Okay, I feel calmer already. How about you? I think so. Yeah, it just kind of helps you to stop and pause. And yeah, it just makes you feel better just counting like that, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Let's see what else is in the bag. Okay. We're, we're really helping with all of these burdens. They're so heavy. Miss Miss Jan's having trouble here. Miss Jan, you take it up there and, and get it out. Oh, okay. What does it say, Miss Jan? It says no friends. That means no I friends. friends. Like you don't have any friends? Well, sometimes I feel like I don't because I don't go to school anymore and I can't go to church and see my friends, so. Oh, so you have friends. You just can't go see them, right? Right, and when I can't see them, I feel like they're not there. Well. I know what you can do about that. You want to hear some, some ideas? I'd love to. Okay. Well, you can call your friends on the phone. Yeah. That's one thing. You can send your friends a text message. Just ask your mom or your dad to borrow their phone, okay? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and another thing. You can FaceTime with your friends. Oh, uh, and you can see them on the phone, right? Yeah, you can see their face. That's why it's called face time. Oh, good. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, so those are some ideas. Oh, and I have one more. What's that? You can do something called snail mail. What's that? Well, that's where you get a piece of paper and a pencil and you write a letter and you put it in an envelope, and you put a stamp on it, and you mail it to your friends. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. I like to get mail. Don't you? Yes, I do. Well, that's a great idea. We should do that. I'll write you a letter today, Ted, okay? Oh, I can hardly wait for it to get here. Does it, does it take a long time, though? I take a day or two. Okay. That's why they call it snail mail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Well, you got any more burdens, Ted? Uh, Miss Jan? Well, I found one more in your bag. And oh. yeah, that's a good one. I'm pretty bored a lot of times. Whoops. Oh, bored. Like B O A R D. A piece of wood, right? Oh, no, uh, silly, I'm not a board. I'm, 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 I just don't have enough to do anymore. Oh, like B-O-R-E-D, board. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I know what to do about that. You want to hear? Sure. Well, you can work a puzzle. Then you won't be bored. Or... You can play a game with your brothers and sisters when they're not too annoying, right? Right. How about watch a movie? Yeah, on TV? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know another one. Let's go outside and play with the bugs. Oh, oh what if I eat one? Oh, well, uh, just make sure you chew it up first. 
Well, that's not a good idea. That was a little joke. I'm really not going to eat any bugs. Oh, well, sometimes we possums like to eat bugs, but, you know, I think all the people watching are humans, and humans should not eat bugs unless they're chocolate-covered grasshoppers. <laughs> oh, I don't think they'd be in the yard. We're just joshing around a little bit. That's another way to be not bored. It's oh, like to tell jokes. Yeah. Okay, that's a great idea. I have a joke for you right now. You want to hear it? I'd love to. Okay. Well, did you hear the one about the bed? No. Well, that's because it hasn't been made up yet. <laughs> oh, that one was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah. Well, I want to know, Ted, what are some other things you can do when you get bored? Well, I guess I could get a piece of paper and draw a picture, or I could play with my toys. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. And no fighting, right? No fighting. I know. You could go ride your bicycle if you have one. Hey, that's a good idea. And play outside, maybe, or play with my dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, and I know another really good one. Read a book. Oh, I love to read books. Me too. Hey, well, Blossom, you've just been such a good friend. Thank you. You're welcome, Ted. I really try to be a good friend. Well, do you have any more burdens or have you already cast your burdens all upon the Lord? I've cast them upon the Lord and I feel better and thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, you know what? I have another song or I think Miss Amy has another song. So you want to hear it? You want to sing along with us? I'd love to. Okay. Hi, everybody. Well, this one you're going to need to help us out with because you have a part in this song. And this song is Standing in the Need of Prayer. Right, Blossom? That's right. And so Blossom's going to help me. He'll sing your part. And I don't know, maybe Ted or Robert, one of our other puppet friends, could sing the part with Blossom, too. Um, and so Standing in the Need of Prayer, your part goes like this. Standing in the Need of Prayer. That's your part. Can you do that, Blossom? Standing in the Need of Prayer. Oh, that was very good. Here we go. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my father, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my preacher, not my teacher, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my grandma or my grandpa, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Well, Blossom and Ted, I think it's time for us to have a prayer. Would you bow your heads and pray with us, boys and girls? And I'm going to come around. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we love you so much. And we thank you for Jesus that he came and that we can cast our burdens and cast our problems on him and that he cares about us. And he's going to help us and give us peace, Lord. We pray, Father for wisdom. We pray, Father, 
for you to surround us with your loving care and to give us peace and to give us comfort in these times. Father, thank you for our moms and our dads and our brothers and our sisters and our friends. And we pray that you would keep them all safe and take care of each one. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Ted, I think that's it for today. Thanks for coming and joining us in our puppet show. I had a great time. Thank you for letting me share my burdens with everybody. I feel lighter already. Oh, I'm so glad. Bye, everybody.